It's day 183 2016 and today we finally have the name for Android N. The leaked specs of the HTC M1 Nexus and the Mi Note 2 are out. This and more in Phone Arena Daily. Let's begin. Last week we came to know about the smaller variant of the Nexus range this year which is the HTC S1 codenamed Sailfish. Now we have come to know about the HTC M1 which is the Marlin device and it's going to be the 6P successor. So it's got a bigger screen compared to the S1 and it's 5.5 inch Quad HD and it's going to be pretty much the same in terms of specs from the 6P otherwise. But the design language is going to be the same between the S1 and the M1 so they look like part of the same range unlike the 5X and the 6P which look completely different and then there is going to be no 64 GB variants. It's going to be just 32 and 128. So that's the details that have leaked out about the HTC M1 and we hope to see more of this device soon. It's official Android N is now called Android Nugget. Apparently they went through a lot of names. There was a bit of confusion at the IO developer conference when Google asked people to submit names and recommendations because they had not yet decided on the nomenclature. And they finally did it. It's Android Nugget and they have chosen it from apparently a lot of names which included Nayapam which is an Indian delicacy. So it's pretty interesting that Android Nugget has been confirmed and made official and this version is still in developer preview. It's going to come out along with the Nexus devices, the M1 and the S1 in September. So we cannot wait for that and we hope there are more new features before the launch. And it's going to be pretty interesting to see what Google comes up with. So that's Android Nugget official. Let's see what happens. From China, the specs of the Xiaomi Mi Note 2 also have been leaked. So the Mi Note 2 is going to be the successor to the original Mi Note and the Mi Note Pro. Both these devices launched last year and they are getting successors this year. Apparently, they are getting dual rear facing cameras and 3D touch, including a metal body design. So this is the main content of the leak. The rest of the specs are going to mostly remain the same and obviously build upon the Mi 5's experience. But the Mi Note started the whole metal unibody design first and obviously everything else is, has been a derivative of that design in Xiaomi's portfolio. So it should be interesting if there is a new design this year or maybe better specs like for example 12 MP dual rear cameras and 3D touch is going to be pretty interesting the way they have implemented it on MIUI. So let's see what happens. And are you interested about these devices? Let us know in the comment section below. Sony's mobile division has announced that it will defocus on markets like India, China, Brazil, and the US, citing growth rate concerns. Now this is the mobile market growth rate that we are talking about. And India's growth rate is about to mature and get saturated. That's what they feel between 2015 and 2017. That's what's gonna happen according to Sony. So they are defocusing in all these markets where the growth rate has saturated and they say they will be focusing on markets which will give them most returns for the little money. Obviously, Sony Mobile has been struggling for a long time so they had to make this decision but I'd love to hear what you think about this decision of defocusing on markets like India, China, Brazil and US. What do you think? Sony should go ahead and just move out of the countries and focus on the East Asian markets or should they bring more devices here? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. That's the point of discussion today. Thanks for watching. The deal of the day is in the description below and we will meet you later with more technology news.